It's almost been a decade since I've started serving at church and I've served in almost all the departments at church and I can say this, that I've grown from strength to strength. The way I think and react has changed. I've learned the value of belonging to a community and the importance of creating spaces for others to have a life-changing experience. If I have to sum up all my serving years, I can say this, that my relationship with Jesus and others have flourished and I'm a better person today because I chose to serve. Ushering simply means guiding people to their seats. As I was not so social back then, I thought I will be able to do it with ease. But I have learned ushering is not just smiling, but being the face of the church. I have served in this team for more than four and a half years, and I have learned to keep all the baggage aside and smile through pain, welcome when I don't feel welcomed, and draw myself close to people even when I'm emotionally drained. I don't mean it is all about faking smiles, but by serving in this team, the church has eventually taught me to draw my strength from Christ. It has uplifted me and made me more stronger and more confident in every walk of life. I was always this person who would walk out of the church the very second it ended to avoid any kind of social interaction. One day, Rachel and Kirti asked me if I would consider joining the ushering team. Well, it has been five years since then. Volunteering at church has given me the confidence to do so many different things that I wouldn't have done before. I was introduced to my amazing team that has always been a huge support system in my life and helped me grow in my faith. Being an usher gave me the opportunity to meet many people from different walks of life. Talking to them and learning about their stories has left a huge impact on mine. I've served on my team for the past four years, but I've been a part of this church right from the very inception. I spent the latter years of my childhood and my teenage years here. So it literally makes me the baby of this church, and I don't think anybody else can say that. Everything that I know about leadership, about community, about sisterhood is what I've learned from here. And I can tell you right from the very start, I saw Auntie Melody and my mom championing each other. And it was a beautiful example for me to see as a young girl. Being a part of this team has helped me find my creative drive. It's helped me nurture and lead from there. I have made strong female friendships who celebrate my wins and who are not afraid to call me out and help me deal with the things that do not serve me. I don't think I would have been a part of this team if it wasn't for a lady on my team who took the time to take me to lunch and say, you should be here. In other words, she was saying, you have a seat at the table. And it is because of the generosity of the women who've gone before me that I want to look back to the next generation of women and tell them, you have a seat at the table. Faith offers a vision for women. While working with the young women in the church, most of my conversations are how faith is often referred as a countercultural because it doesn't measure the worth of the women the same way the secular world, which often see power and the beauty is the measure of success. So it became integral part of our ministry, bringing women character, biblical, who are strong, honest, perceptive, and also deserve great honor. Empowering young women who need the right direction and building their faith in Jesus has been the greatest reward I ever received. Working with Melody and Mayuri and many other faithful women has been a beautiful journey. As always we say, we are better together. My journey to serve started decades ago. I still remember serving as a teen in, in, in various teams and I'm amazed at how God maneuvered my life and my giftings by serving in the house of the Lord. And I believe strongly in the power of sisterhood and being and serving in, the, in His house, I've had some strong women who push me to help me thrive in the different roles that I play. And trust me, it makes it so much more meaningful and fun. So I want to encourage uh, all of you out there, find someone who pours into your life and also find people who you can pour out into. And at Hope UC, we women have a community called Sisters and we shout out, we are better together.